John Spelzy, I love this kid. He is the athlete that you dream of. Anyone that watched John, and the thing that impressed me most is simply the way he carried himself on the field. You didn't have to watch too long to figure out who the captain was, who the leader was, and he always let his play speak for itself. John, I, I can tell he never did anything halfway, and this was a good place uh, for that. I mean, he was 100% uh, and, and whatever he did, he gave it his all. It's his nature, he's always been that way. Uh, even in football, it was, uh, you know, he didn't give up until the play was over. He was a player that really didn't need a lot of coaching. He was like having another coach on the field. He just had instincts about playing linebacker. In hockey, there was not a guy on the ice that was that big and that fast. I mean, a linebacker on skates, think about it. He was faster than anybody on the ice. So you put that combination together, he was fierce on the, on the hockey rink. John was the captain of the football team on the defensive side, and John was the captain of our hockey team. He was, you know, just a, a good leader. Everybody respected him, and we followed him. And that's how he led. He led by his words, but he led a lot more by his example. I think people mimicked him. They watched how he went to business. He was not a loud, vociferous guy that was always pumping everybody out. He led by example. You know, if things were going well, even off the field, John was always the first guy there for his teammates. He helped at, at times as center on the football team. So you don't find that these days anymore, where you're playing on both sides of the field. The coach from Ohio University passed over John when he was a senior, and uh, so then John went off to Marshall, and of course Marshall plays OU the next year when John's a freshman, and John goes out and has 15 or 16 tackles. And that coach comes back the following year and sees John's picture on the wall and says, you know, I think we made a mistake on that guy. As, as good as an athlete as John Spellis he was, and we could talk about that all day long, but I think as a person, as a human being, as an Ignatius man, John Spellacy uh, is, is exceeded all expectations. He's one of the greatest men I've ever met, and I'm just glad I've, that he's in my life. For being someone who could be so vicious on the field, he was such a gentleman off the field. He's always just told me to work hard, and hard work will take care of everything else, and this school is, it's all about becoming a man for others, and I just think that's exactly what my dad is. And, I see it every day in, in the way he, he's driven, and the way he works, and he's always willing to help somebody. He would do anything for you. He's a guy that would uh, be there for you when you need him. Very humble for all the achievements he had. He was just the greatest kid, and I still think of him that way, and I, he's an adult. There's two things that he never does. He never makes excuses, and he never complains. So that sets an example for me, and I know that I wouldn't, I can't do any of those either. My dad's always been that person that I strive to be, and I think my siblings can attest to that too. It's not only athletically, but the way he lives his life and the way he is always willing to help somebody. John is, as his, his father and his brothers are doing right now, they're leaders in the legal community. And he's done well, he's helped a lot of people. A defensive player, and now he's a defense lawyer. You really rely on your teammates, and your teammates, you know, the, any success that an individual has is really the result of their teammates and the result of those who came before them because, you know, you strive to be like them. And Ignatius has brought our family together and brought our family into a bigger family. My mom and dad, you know, always had us into athletics, so they taught us from a young age, and then Ignatius solidified that, that, you know, hard work, dedication, pick each other up, you, know, you learn from your failures, those are all things that I use today in my life. And when you work really hard for something and you succeed at it, um, you know, it tastes that much better. Um, but really, it's a result of, of others helping you. Can't lose sight of that. Congratulations, Dad. I'm so proud of you. Go get yourself some Mitchell's ice cream tonight. <laughs>